Oh, that's right. I got the new stuff in my house. I want to see if I can get Chuckles out from back there. Oops. Sorry, I'm used to using C to crouch. <laughs> Again, more reason why I need to get play a little bit more. Can't seem to find them. Poor Chuckles, he's stuck back there. Couldn't find me another Chuckles. Yep, alright. Might have to just cast that spell again, some more again because I need it to practice up my spell skills. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. <laughs> what? You're my servant. Shush! <laughs> My lucky day indeed. Um, this way? This way. Keep the fire warm. Keep yourselves well fed. And well prepared. You never know what's gonna happen. up to independent thievery which goal found a key shaped arrowhead but not the whole arrow must be what the gray fox is looking for uh yes gotta turn in this quest so where do we need to be Really? He wants us to meet here? Okay. I would have thought it would have been somewhere else, but I guess. What is it? Ooh, laggy. Do you have the right quest on, right? Yeah. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Yes, I am. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Mother? My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Okie doke. Take care. what's going on but okay hiya only the finest wares to buy and barter at northern goods and trades I'm seed Neus, the proprietor how can I help you um you've ooh. got a lot to learn mercantile get better deals when buying or selling goods Ooh. We can easily level this skill up. Let's get to training. Knowledge is power. Indeed. You've and you're giving me a lot, lot of to it. Learn. Good that you want to get better. And I just spent all my money on it. <laughs> Goodbye. Good day. We're going to be saving up money again for a while. But it's going to be totally worth it now. Uh, how's the level doing? Just a little bit away from leveling. That actually did a hell of a push. What is this for? Personality. Personality's going to get a big boost on this level. All right. Thank you. I'm off to make some more money. 
Apparently I'm wanted over here somewhere. Pardon. Welcome. Let's talk. Hey. Hi, Great I've Fox. been waiting. Arrow of Extraction, I believe. Do yeah. you have the Arrow of Extrication? Extrication, bleh. I only have the Arrow's head. Hmm. I'd hoped for the whole Arrow. But that is not your fault. I will have to have it repaired. This Arrowhead advances my plan to... Well, never mind. I may have need of you again in the near future if my plans hold. Here is your reward. I am also promoting you to Master Thief in the Thieves' Guild. Woohoo! Fathis Uls of the Imperial City will be your new fence. Oh, I met him. Excellent, thank you very much. I will see you whenever you have another mission ready for me. 500 gold. Shadow hide you. Shadow hide you. Grey Fox will be contacting me soon. Until then, I should sell more stolen property to the guild fences. I need at least 800 gold. <laughs> Already there. The Grey Fox protects you. And you. And don't be blurting out about the Grey Fox in public. I've already reached my gold of over 100. Yes. Yes, I have. Alright. Actually, what was the stats that we we're looking at that we needed to greatly improve? Willpower. Destruction, alteration, restoration. Destruction, alteration, restoration. Sadly, neither of those are any of my main skills up here. And that's going to be the issue with trying to get that particular skill line to leveled up. Um, other than that... Endurance. Goblins block, armor, heavy armor. Okay, I'm suddenly starting sliding around very slowly for some reason. What is going on? Suddenly, super slowed down for some reason, and constantly sliding. This is so weird. Hello, game bug. I'm not sure why that's suddenly doing that. At least it stopped it. There we go. Still not quite behaving right. Oh. 
How apparently are you? my controller apparently it's trying to read my Xbox controller and my Xbox controller is being fidgety, so you know what? Gonna start reading things you're not supposed to be reading and acting like they're supposed to be doing something, I'm just gonna unplug it then. There. Now, are you gonna behave yourself? Still a bit sluggish, but otherwise, yes, behaving itself. Go ahead. Hurry up! <laughs> yeah, because he says it was like you're running towards the, uh, running across the fields of wheat towards some lover, like in one of those bad movies. Yeah, it was really weird. She was just, like, moving sideways in slow motion. Not sure why the controller decided to butt in, but I've told it to butt back out. Alright. So then. Waiting for more missions from the Bla uh, Gray Fox. Is there anything else we want to do? Here it's like interesting. First temp samples are Nern Root. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're still collecting the toy Nern Root. We're not quite there yet. Frostbire. The Singaporean Market District in Imperial City. Battlehorn. Actually, look at what our oldest stuff is and see if we can do something about it. Horse armor, meh. Not until I have a horse. Dunbarrow Cove. Centuries ago, the Great Battle took place in Aimville Bay. Actually, that is something we could work on. Um, hmm. Do you want me to take over another location for myself, or do you want me to go chasing after a Daedric artifact? Either one sounds interesting. Actually, I think we mentioned the Razor before. That sounds like a ultimate weapon kind of deal. Mm. Let's let's go here first. Do a little more leveling. It was guaranteed to be a fight. <laughs> Going to take over the Lost Pirate Cove for ourselves. Now, where's it at? Is it the place we've been to before? Uh, that away. Anvil, yes, we have been to Anvil before. Let's go to the main gate and walk our way around, because that's the only thing we haven't seen yet. Actually, let's also see if there's a stable here and if I can buy a horse. Got 500 gold, that should be able to get a horse if you have the gold. actually closed at night? Apparently. Dang it. 
I'm smash the sign. Bonk. Ooh. Something to harvest. Um. Guess we'll just walk. As the sparrow fry flies, I, I believe they say. I also should get some jumping in because that'll help that skill. Ooh. To a brisk walk around town. somewhere apparently. Fear that there's a cave that leads under Castle Anvil. The rumors indicate that the Dumbbarrow Cave may be located under the castle itself. I should head to the cave. Seems there's enough in here, outside of the cave. Aha! More Nern root. Down there's been cleared. Let's have a look up here. Oh, come on. You can jump now. There we go. in these barrels so far. Some pirates. Almost looks like a collapsed tunnel from an angle. We'll look in there in a moment. But 
locked room. Your security skill has increased. Woohoo! Always read the books that you randomly pick up from boxes. Is there anything else? Another torch, sure. Really gave me so many torches. Oh, hey! Resting spot, awesome! right now. Alright. Make some more potions. Some mighty big holes that lead straight to the surface. Not sure how no one's fallen down here. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I'll check. I look through these crates. It looks like I have. And what's this? They are fingers of the fox, the children of the shadows. More commonly, we are known as the Thieves' Guild. There are but three rules, followers of the Grey Fox. First, never steal from another member of the guild. Second, never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the good personal protection of the Grey Fox, and particularly in the Imperial City Waterfront. Breaking any of these three rules means expulsion from the Thieves' Guild. If you commit murder, you must pay the uh, blood price to rejoin the guild. Blood price is for each person slain. You can pay any of the dungeon, uh, the guild doyen. The doyen are the hands and eyes of the guild master. You can take your orders from them, you get your favors from them, you can pay off the guild judges to remove your crimes for a small fee, of course. Our guild master is the Grey Fox. We don't talk about him in public. However, we make sure that most folks think he is just a myth. We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Each member steals at his own discretion. The guild neither helps nor hinders with any burglary. However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Other merchants won't take hot merchandise. You won't be considered for promotion in the Thieves' Guild unless you have stolen enough stolen property to the fences. The higher the guild you, uh, ra you rise, the more stolen property you need to have fenced. If you should call to help the Grey Fox, if you should be called to help the Grey Fox in some special way, remember that the best source of information is the beggars. Their eyes and ears seem to be everywhere. However, be prepared to spend some coin. They won't tell you anything for free, at least not anything true. The guild takes care of its own. The doyen can remove the bounty from any guild member. However, it takes money to bribe the guards. The guild member must pay the doyen half of his total fines to get rid of them. How much is it? One pound, three gold, take. 
I guess. Basic rules of Thieves Guild. I'm not sure why that book's laying around. Save. Doorway to Castle, uh, Castle Anvil Dining Hall. Something I'm missing here. Ah, here's what I'm missing. A little cavey cave down here. Ooh, still cutlass. Not as strong as my current weapon, but nice. Save. I followed the rumors and found Dunbarrow Cove and the remnants of the Black Flag. However, the ca uh, caverns are overrun by the skeletons of the pirates who perished here. I have to put them to rest before I can begin the rift to rift the cove. you all right some more down there somewhere uh, but I also just got the thing about my light armor leveling up and I can now go take a rest and get another level so I guess let's go do that
rest here for a little while. Lower stats first. Uh, willpower is going to take a long time to try and level. But also, at least we get some more strength in here. Alright. Save game! We've got another level! We're now level 9, apparently, according to my saves. Alright. Back in. spell to use today. Give it a try and see what it does. The uh, wild goose chase. Wow! 
This is a heck of a fight. I remember when I did this sooner. I'm surprised it's been such a pain. Just not get them. Uh, let's see here. Try this again.
trying to kill them. They're being really pain big pains in my neck right now. Uh... Ah! 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 Come on, you bag of bones! Ooh, he barely missed me. School you boy. <sighs> Trying to kill them, man oh man, they are tough as nails. Hope I don't have to face two of them in a row again like that. Woof. But you know what I can do? Never mind. It's because they're part of the corpse. Can't just pick up their skulls and run off with them. Bloop. Yeah, that was extremely difficult for some reason. Like I said, I've, uh. I wanted to place chuckles, but, uh, I've done this before at every stage in the game before I even leveled up this much, and wow, I don't remember them being quite this tough. Maybe I was just really lucky or something, I don't know. Restoration skill increased. I do know, however, is we're gonna save before we go the heck back in there. Alright. Still got a half hour of the stream left to go. We should be able to get through most of these guys. It does seem like most of the rest of them are a one by one fight. Is he across that way somewhere? There he is, yep. How about the one over here? Ah, oh, there he is. A lot of them are actually over here. Except for the one that's in the tunnel somewhere. So let's get the tunnel one first and then we can deal with the rest of them one at a time. Uh, I forgot to ask about Five Guys, how was it? Five Guys was amazing. Everyone agreed, uh, by the way, I was the only person there that had experienced Five Guys before in my family. Everyone agreed that these were amazingly good burgers. Not that it's a place you're going to go to every time because of the price, but they were really good burgers, obviously. Um, ate all the fries I could, because there's plenty to go around. Oh, we're getting fancy up in here, huh? Come at ya, skull face.
I am now over encumbered. Uh, happy froggy, they are. They're the best burgers in my area by far. The fries I find too salty and uh, unusually, uh, but the uh, burgers are heaven. Good shield work there. Yes, you very much have to work on shield work with these guys. If you're gonna survive this one-on-one -on -one without this. Becoming a wimp fest. <laughs> um, but yeah, gotta work up them shield skills anyways because that's part of my level up. How is the shield doing anyways? Block. Oh, we're halfway to 34. Healing up before I drop something. Um, actually, uh, our salt, uh, our fries weren't too salty. Actually, As a matter of fact, my uh, brother-in-law was complaining that they might have been too unsalty. That was the only one and only complaint. So, apparently, what you, the problem you usually have, we didn't have. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this cutlass here, because I cannot. Okay, hey, come on. Out. There we go. I'll come back for you. Uh, Vixie says, oh, haha, I, well, I try to avoid salt, so maybe I think normal salt is too salty? Maybe? Because, yeah, I've had McDonald's fries that tasted like nothing but salt compared to those fries. Not to say they were bad fries, I've considered them pretty good. Also had the uh, Cajun fries, too, which were delicious. Both myself and my father were after them, and were like, and he's like, well, it's not that spicy, it's not that spicy. Yeah, it's just Cajun spice. Not to mention, like, burn your tongue out or something. It's Cajun. <laughs> and Vixie says this Cajun spicy fries are spicy as fuck. <laughs> oh. They are so spicy. <laughs> That's a spicy meme that they're spicy. Um. I need to go to town and sell these swords. Um, but no, seriously, uh, you're talking to a guy who just ate a buffalo chicken pizza tonight. Mm, buffalo chicken. Yeah, fine, just whirling to work now. Tap out. Main gate. It got them once and was dying. <laughs> Poor Vixi. Yeah, I have buffalo chicken pizza tonight to myself. You're talking to a man who puts jalapenos on his subs from Subway. Do? Whoa. Yo, hey dude. Uh, just coming in. Hi. Varel Morvane. Been making weapons and arms here in Anvil for 30 years. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with them. Sounds fair enough. I have some stuff to sell you, good sir. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Hmm, matter of fact, I'll be looking at your armor in a bit, but uh, first things first. I have some stuff I need to get rid of. That's a fair deal. Matter of fact, I need to get some stuff repaired to my poor boots that gone away the dodo. Um, while I'm here, do you have anything to improve my armor at all? Nope, barely any light stuff on them at all. Drove a half hour for KFC tonight. <laughs> 
person need that read that fine steel cutlass as fine ass steel <laughs> that is some fine ass steel <laughs> thank you Cut. if I can't fix it it ain't broke fix it Say what you're going to say. Ooh, what you say. Hate. Likes. Mediocre. Meh. What nonsense. Don't. Please. Not bad. That never happened. That's pretty good. That never happened. Not now. Whatever you want. <laughs> Don't talk such rot. Don't! Please! Not bad. That never happened. Sure, that's... That never... Don't waste... No more! You're frightening me! <clears throat> Whatever you want. That's pretty good. That's... What nonsense. Not bad. Not... That's... What no... Don't! Please! I'm sorry! Don't waste your flattery on me. Whatever you want. That's pretty good. So you say. Don't talk such r Whatever you want. Not bad. That's pretty far-fetched. That's pretty good. Yeah. Don't... Yes, yes, whatever you say. What non... No more. You're frightening me. Sure. That never happened. All right, I get it. Friendly enough now? All right, good day. Be seeing you. God, his reactions are ten times better than the other people's. Yeah. <laughs> he was clear as day. All right. I'm only asking for a single coin. All right, back to the cave. Oh, cave, cove, cove, cave. Can we get a little boob? Do 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 do. Yes, visually, is it this? Uh, Pretty well crafted game even for its age. Only one that I can think of off the top of my head that's better is Skyrim, and that's the sequel. Haha! -ha. Alright, let's go collect that sword, and then we have two more swords to collect. And then we're done in here, and we can go tell someone that we found the cove and eliminated the undead. I'll get some attention. Leave when we were last here, we just tossed the sword over to the skelly. And because I can. His arm and skull are just stuck in there, I suppose. I was just gonna pile them up nice and pretty like so he'd be visible, but okay. Alright. He felt that. Here he comes.
Actually, I want you to come up. Ooh, that was a hard hit. I want you to come up more this way so I can clutch your sword more easily when I'm done. Where did his sword go? Dang it. Sword on went flying and I think it fell off the ledge. It's probably down there somewhere. I'll look for it later. Oh no, there it is. Found it. Was he immune? You mean to the flares? Not that I'm aware of. It was enough to get him angry though, for sure. Uh Actually, that's a thought. What is... Would a crushing weapon be better? I'm not sure if, uh... Elder Scrolls deals in those kind of rules or not. Having a mace down here actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Though it's not my preferred weapon. One's right over there. I see him taking some damage. I want me to go in there, I think. Alright, up over this way. Yeah, he was a strong one. I can tell why they were hiding him in the back corner now. He must have had higher stats than the others.
Uh, hi. Boy, come on, hit me. Light armor is like a second skit after all those days and weeks where you have learned to move easily with hitting combat. As a German of light armor, your gear is no longer damaged as swiftly as from combat. <gasps> awesome, okay. <gasps> Destroy the last of the undead pirates and claim Dunbarrel Cove as my own. The cavern and the hulk of the Black Flag are in terrible condition after hundreds of years underground. I should speak with Dahlia um, Rakaman, Rak Rakam of uh, Clarabella. She will be able to assist me in hiring a crew to turn Dunbarrel Cove into a suitable base of operations. That being said, I can now sleep here. Oh, I did get another level. Awesome.
Yep, strength. Strength needs to get up there. These 40s need to get up there. Alright. I saw I kicked your ass, even though you try to kick mine pretty good. I will give you that much. Ow. Pirate Cove is mine. I go outside and then we can teleport over to where we need to go. potions of healing. I think I've already used them. Actually, I mostly make only endurance ones because that's all the stuff I seem to get. We'll have to go buy some potions of healing. Probably have to order that or steal them and then re pretend to sell them and buy them back. Uh. Oh, the uh, gal we need to talk to is in here. Greetings, Dunmer. Bonk. Oh. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> I got caught in the sign somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Then again, I do jump like I'm on the moon. person hiding. Oh, here we go. Oh, I know where we are. Holy cow. Yeah, we visited here in uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I just realized it. Like, we're supposed to go down, like, over here somewhere, and that's when we meet a guy. Uh, apparently the seawater must have been a lot lower. Oh, and uh, one of the Black Brotherhood was in that fortress, uh, in that castle over there. Or no, he was in the lighthouse. He was in the lighthouse over there. So I think the lighthouse was a little more fancier back then. Anyway. What? But yeah, I just totally realized we've been in Anvil like a couple of times before in the MMO. Continuity for the win. <laughs> Two arms! Two arms! Oh. Ah! <laughs> I'd better cut down on the ale. Starting to see things, I am. Okay, apparently I'm not meant to be on the ship. My bad. Yeah, this place is actually bigger than the online game. <laughs> Funny enough. But I can totally recognize that these buildings here are definitely the same, and I remember coming out of the walled city to come out to this before as well. Booga booga, I found... I fought... Mud crabs more fearsome than you. <laughs> okay. But hello, Sir William Stone. Let's see. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Boop. 
Two in the morning, still need to go further. Well, let's check on back and see how much time passes. And we'll dox. Uh, stop right there, criminal scum. How have you been? Uh, been okay. It's too bad that Marwan ended the ended the way that it did, but uh, I'm actually much happier being on Oblivion in any way. A little less clunky, although there's a bit jank to be found in every Elder Scrolls game, but they're usually pretty fun for the most part. Uh, nothing to use. Oh well. Waiting for this sea captain to wake up so we can get this mission done or advanced. Not me, just hiding in the open. <clears throat> no one will see me. Can't believe this game is 12 years old. Yes, she is still a very beautiful game for 12 years old. I believe we've actually been having that conversation off and on as well every once in a while. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Still a very nice game for its age. Just hit 7 o'clock. I assume they're going to be up sometime in the next couple hours. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Oompa, doompa, doompa, dee, doo. I've got a riddle just for you. <laughs> Oh, just waiting for people, and just gotta play the waiting game until they want to get up. I will say, the one thing I wish they wouldn't prove is the hats. This chain cowl does nothing for her. I believe it's this ship, right? Yeah. It's still aiming me right at the ship. Actually, you know what? While we're waiting, got to tramp my moon jump. I come back for a little bit. What time are we looking at? It's almost eight o'clock. Come on, there's got to be some crew on this ship. <laughs> Let's moonwalk. Uh, I guess this is the best way I could moonwalk. <laughs> you can't see my feet, you can't tell me I'm not moonwalking. <laughs> the hats have to be weird so uh, beast races can wear them. <laughs> I suppose to some degree. Oh, the dream walk I did earlier, yeah. My Xbox controller did something wonky earlier in the stream. I had to unplug it to make it stop. <laughs> Recharging. That's actually an amazing thing in of itself. This thing is 12 years old, and it knows what an Xbox 360 controller is when you have it wired up to your computer, and will willingly try and use it. That's some crazy advanced stuff for how old this game is. Then again, maybe, just maybe, it's a little bit of uh, some of the mod coding that told it that it can use controllers. Not sure.
jump into the level of my skill. time with the sailors. A lot of personal time with them. Is that so? I heard that Belwyn Benaris is trying to sell off Benaris Manor. Hopefully the new owners will clean that eyesore up. <sighs> the Emperor and his three sons dead, right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. I just talk don't think about it. The Elder Council will take care of things, sooner or later. How about that? Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruits. Uh-huh. Bye. You do just like chatting, don't you? Um, anyways, uh, Sir William also mentioned that uh, his three button gets do? stuck and he starts spamming yes. potions by accident. And yes, that's got to suck a lot. Last night, I heard someone scream from inside. Belwin Venerus will never sell that death trap. <laughs> <sighs> heard any news from the other provinces? I've heard that the Nords of Skyrim have been warring with the Redoran of Morrowind. Nords have always been protective of their territory. It's no wonder they get involved in these disputes. Good day. Goodbye. You two. You can walk away from each other now, you know. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. What's the news from the other parts of Tabriel? I've heard that the Nords have... It's the same guy talked to himself. The Redoran of Morrowind. More fighting for the Nords? This is sad news. Take care. Farewell. Hey, there they go. Also, I hear the NPC engine in this game is actually really crazy if you uh, take off the limits. Because they'll actually break, uh, break parts of the game that you're supposed to be able to access because, um, uh, like, people will have certain goals like getting more skooma, and that'll lead them to killing, like, one of the, uh, brother Dark Brotherhood's, uh, members that you need for quest lines because, uh, he happens to have skooma on him. Oh, hello, here's a familiar face. Gee, I wonder why he's coming over here. I have another message from the Grey Fox. Hey, I'm You Asai. must be very important. Oh, dear, he keeps me busy lately. So, what's the message? The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Ganredel's house in Shedenol. All right. Actually, I haven't gotten to really talked to you. What do you think about some of this crazy stuff? Let's start with Chapel. I don't know what to think. Maybe the prophet is right, and the ancient gods have come back for vengeance. Hieronymus Lex. He's the captain of the guard in Anvil now. He used to be in the Imperial Watch until Countess Umbranox had him reassigned. He made things very difficult for the Thieves' Guild for a while. I heard you were the one that made it all happen. Everyone in the Thieves' Guild is grateful. Well, thank you. I was not the main planner, but I did uh, show my hand. Uh, Prophet. Yes, he preaches outside the chapel every day. Hard to miss. I think you'll know him when you see him. <laughs> Probably. Uh. 
Any other rumors? They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you, Amasai. May Shadow hide you. And Shadow hide you, Amasai. Uh, don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Sir William says Amosai has those uh, meth head eyes. Mm. I don't know if that's true. Then I think almost half the Argonians have them too. <laughs> Still waiting for this captain to come out of this ship. Tempted to go in there and uh, poke around and again. Let's save first before we do, since we got to talk to Amasai there. Hi there. Well Hello. met. Uh, Dunbarrow Cove. Let's do business. Oof. You've got to be kidding. I'll come back to you when I have some more cash. Goodbye. That's pretty much the update for that, okay. The words of the prophet are written on the subway walls. Tournament halls at Vixie, correct. Sense of this, fuck, yes. Alright, so that's done for now. Do we want to go for the Razor? Actually, what time is it? I think, actually, we might be uh, up for time for tonight, so maybe next time we'll go for the Razor. Actually, we need to know where we need to go here. Bo boots of Spring Hill Jack. Most is giving me another message from the Grey Fox. I went to meet him. A house in Sirden Hall. Have we been there before? I think we might have. Um, we're technically outside, so which direction? That way? I think that's just to go inside. been there. So let's go there now, through the power of instant transmutation, <laughs> or something. Yes, yeah, small loan of about a million septums. Yeah. <laughs> or I need to steal about a million septums and make my cash quick. All the way on the other end of town here. Oh, I remember this place. Looks nice, but full of uh, kind of semi racist assholes. As I recall. Unless I'm thinking of one of the other towns, I can't remember. Then again, Elder Scrolls kind of has a issue of randomly generated assholes here and there. Oh, wow. Never knew notice the gravesite here. Good evening. What is it now? Passing through, sir. No worries. I see. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods. The land of the Altmer. The Altmer can we read graves? I guess we can have a quick look. It could be a dangerous situation. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Call GJ um, JG Wentworth. 
Actually, I don't think there's much to read on them, sadly. They're kind of low res. Yeah. That's a shame. Didn't bother to put any kind of text on these the headstones. Here's somebody, he was from somewhere. Bye bye. I assume we're borrowing your house. Excuse us. <clears throat> Puppies! Did you go have a seat, please. Hi, Grey Fox. Come. We have much to discuss. I am eager to have... Uh, to hear your plan. Further use of Sevilla's stone is revealed that I need another special item to move forward with my plans. I need the boots of spring -Heel Jack. He is a famous thief that died some 300 years ago. Legend has it that he was buried with his boots on. Find out where spring -Heel Jack is buried and bring me back those boots. Will you do this for me? It pays well. Of course, I am ready. Capital. The Earl of Imbil is the only descendant of his line that I've been able to locate. His name is Jockbin, and he lives somewhere in the Imperial City. There might be a clue in the Earl's house. Hmm. So sneak in, have a look around. Gotcha. Um, I guess since we have a moment, what do you think of the Prophet? He preaches in Anvil. Appeared right after the attack on the chapel there. Sounds like the usual doomsaying nonsense. <laughs> if you say so, boss. Thank you. Shadow High. Shadow Haiju. Greetings. You're free to go back into your house. Now then. Teleport. Boop. Good evening, sirs. Good evening. Save. I believe we've already been auto saved. Let me see here. Okay, there's some way to get into the middle of this. Because I believe one of the beggars we need to talk to might be in the middle here. Greetings ah. to you. Hello. Good evening. Would you happen to know something somewhere? I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. They're only at the age of 30. <laughs> I'm looking to find Jacobin, Earl of Imble. Imbel. I can help. The Earl of Imbel has a home in the Talos Plaza on the inner wall. Oh, he's an odd one. Keeps to himself, mostly. Only goes out after dark. Uh, a real night owl. Thank you. Thank you very much. Certainly. Actually, apparently I've paid you off a lot, so I think we're good here. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Blessings of a new upon ye. And you. Do we need to save? 
Uh, I think we already auto saved, but just because I got that information, yeah. Let's just double check and make sure. Five AM. All right, we gotta really make this snappy. Upstairs? I want to get this done really quick. Since we're right here anyway. about to lose some of their winery if I stay here long. Uh, ah! Thief! The hell? I didn't even get a chance to loot him. woke up because of a timer. Yeah, it's not worth it. Go up to him really quick and see if we can steal from him.
people are waking up. Shoot. I need to get out of here. Oh. every time come on better than this better than that there we go there we go found the book of Emily family genealogy no mention of Spring Hill Jack's burial location maybe the Earl himself can tell me with a little friendly persuasion So, <laughs> so with that, we are stuck here. Uh, we have to talk to these people down below, but they're not expecting us to be here right now. <laughs> um, so with that, we're going to have to save and we're going to have to call it for next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you, Vixi and Sir William Stone for being in the chat tonight. Uh, remember, anyone watching on YouTube or the VODs after we're done with the live stream, you can join them by following and uh, getting uh, email messages and so forth of, as to when I start streams. And you can also subscribe to the Twitch channel as well and help out that way if you wish to. Otherwise, for YouTubers, you can also either join through Patreon or also join through uh, Streamlabs if you want to help financially speaking. Otherwise, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below also help. That is all for tonight.